All right, so we learned about how to create a new branch, how to merge that particular branch before pushing on to and check or validate before pushing into or rather merging into the main branch. We also learned how to use the debug functionality and we saw how you could just uh, um, export the template. So what we're going to do is um, if we go to our resource group, um, there has been a bit of development. Um, someone, a new client has been onboarded and they have asked us to push all of our code, whatever we have made, and we want to automate the entire process and we want to push it to the production environment. So if you see over here, there's a production data factory exist uh, with the same name, uh, just that we have a broad suffix uh, created and we have got a prod key vault as well where we have got the same Azure storage credential which we kept in the code red uh, for the demo purpose we're using the destination code red whether we have uh, where, where we have got all the uh, containers um, the source and the destination and inside the source we have all the files uh, which you want to move from the uh, source to destination where, where we haven't got anything all right so now the the process is pretty much same um, the structure the infrastructure structure is pretty much same where we have got um, if you go to the home and go to the resource group again yeah, what we've got is we have got um, we've got the production data factory, we've got the production key vault, and the destination code DF as the production storage account. Um, we're gonna go to our demo DF, which we have been using so far, wherein we created the move move uh, template. Um, so if you just validate our production. Um, um, data factory we haven't got anything over here it's all zero um, zeroth value for all the pipeline data sets data flow and we're gonna create a fresh new deployment for it however uh, what we're gonna learn is we are going to use the template of our demo environment which we've been using so far and we're gonna just export it and import it export it first from here and then import it to the production environment let's get into the action first so how you could just export it if you go to the manage section there would there would be something called as arm template and from here you could just export the template which we have created so all those activities which we have been doing so far the activity in the like so validation get files filter files all of them are actually captured as in the form of a template and there are two template when you download um, when you export the arm template one is the arm template and another one is the parameter if you start looking over here uh, what it tells you that uh, it gives you the name of the pipeline and what it does um, it starts with the activity the first activity is the validation uh, and then we have got bunch of user properties uh, the parameters how do you want to validate it and then it says that um, bunch of other parameters and then it moves to the uh, another activity which is for each file it filters through all file copy all the files uh, takes the timeout exception uh, as well and then it um, takes up all the um, all the parameters and then delete deletes the file when the copy activity has been completed and the parameter parameter only has got the um, the value of the of your vault this is the url of your vault however we're going to use a different one for the production and then the super secret value of your um, of your secret which we have been using so if you go to your vault if i go to the azure portal go to the vault we have got a credential if you don't remember recap it for you uh, in the credential we have got the we have got the storage account connection string similar way we have got the same uh, secret in the prod key vault as well which holds the connection string for your production storage account all right makes sense so far let's move on to our manage section again what we're going to do is we have imported it we have seen what it holds what are the templates and what is a parameter template so whenever you export it it's going to have two files one is going to be the arm template which will have all the steps written in the form of a json and then we'll you'll have a parameter template which will hold all the variable 
alright so now let's go to the um, template section again and instead of exporting which we did a couple of seconds back we're gonna do an import so once you do that it is going to take to the arm deployment page and you, what you could just use is you could just use the build your own template in the editor just click over there and then just remove the basic by default content from here go to your arm template copy the entire JSON and paste it over here and if you notice it is going to create all the steps which you had written in the JSON if you save it it's gonna it's gonna just ask you for the parameters if you see over here that's gonna create a create a pipeline it's gonna create bunch of data sets it is going to create bunch of link service so by the end of the deployment we should have a few link services uh, three data sets and one pipeline let is and if you see over here you've got one uh, variable also I'm gonna hit on save and now I know that my production code read exists in the same resource group uh, region is auto selected I'm gonna give the data factory name which is this one come back again in the deployment section and if you notice over here the vault property is this one I'm just going to go to my vault page just pick up my production vault name come back to the deployment just to replace this one the rest is universal doesn't matter for which client you're working doesn't matter whosoever is working the suffix remains same just that the vault name you need to change uh, credential is the name of the secret if you remember the secret we have is the credential which holds the connection string for your production uh, storage account so what I'm gonna do is once I'm satisfied with all of the um, variables I'm gonna review and create go through the process and hit on create it is going to take us to the deployment page and now it's actually submitting the deployment and then it's gonna run the deployment for us it's gonna be real quick because we haven't got many tasks and JSON deployment are really really fast alright so the deployment is now done and if you go to our production data factory if you go to the author section if you just hit the refresh button all right once refresh you see that number have changed from 0 to 1 and data set there are three data set that's what we saw in the JSON also right if you go to the manage section there should be a couple of link service as well and there you go you've got two link service which is linked with your um, production key vault and storage account if you go to the author section you should have the move uh, files pipeline with all of these activities and steps which we defined in our demo environment once you are happy what you could all the steps if you don't want to add anything new you could just hit on the debug button and just click on ok and that's it is going to start the pipeline alright we are just at the end of uh, the pipeline you saw that it has deleted all the files it started with the validation first uh, and all of this is happening in the production environment obviously and then we've got the get list task which it uh, did and then it filtered all the file it ran the for each uh, function which copied all the file and once it it copied all the file and then it deleted it let's do a, let's do a just um, verification and see that whatever a data factory is seeing is actually happening in the background also so if you go to the storage account and destination code df that's what we're considering as a, a production storage account if you go to the source container we shouldn't have any of the um, csv files in the location and here you go you don't have anything in over here and then if you go to the destination container you should have all the files right over here all right so then you could just save it as a template and uh, obviously you could just publish it as well export it as well right now you can't publish it because you haven't got your code repository set up for this particular data factory but that's going to be a repeat process what we did in our code red 
demo df uh, which is more of a demo um, environment so that's how you could just elevate your production um, uh, to production environment from your dev or non prod environment we didn't have to write any code any configuration we were what we just did was use the code red demo df uh, and then just exported the json and use it for our further deployment you could do it similarly for other environment as well and automate the entire process just that you had to just replace the key name of azure key vault in the de deployment and rest of the process was automatically picked up by the pipeline i hope this is going to be informative for your deployments uh, and uh, going to be easy automation process for all of the environment which we have um, or rather you have in your organization all right i'll see you in a while thank you